Hello everyone and welcome to Money's Worth. Today we look at Sky Strider with a base price of 7 euros and 79 cents. I finished the game in just under 2 hours. Let's take a look at the gameplay and content and then I will give you my opinion of the game. Let's get into the review. Sky Strider is an action adventure platformer. Movement is very classic platforming style. Running around, jumping, sliding and wall running. You have a boost that you can use every time you touch a surface. So if you wall run for any amount of time whatsoever, you can boost again with no cooldown. Boosting increases your run speed to a certain limit, and if you stop running, the speed increase is lost. You have a claw that works somewhat like a grappling hook. You can use the claw to move objects and activate triggers on your way. You can also use it in combat. For combat, you have a fast attack and a heavy attack. The fast attack can be used in quick succession to stagger the enemy. The heavy attack is slower and deals more damage. Both attacks can be used in the air for different effects. You can use your claw to pull yourself towards enemies. You can steal their large weapon or shield if they have one. You can hit enemies with the item or throw it back at them, dealing damage. When you run and jump and use boost, you gain overdrive. And when you have enough, you can use the overdrive to deliver a devastating attack. The enemies you encounter vary from standard melee weapon opponents to wall-mounted turrets that fire missile-like objects at you. Enemies are very simple and not very clever, so combat is mostly hit a few times and dodge. If you get hit, you will lose health. And if you lose it all, you will restart at the nearest checkpoint. There are objects you can activate with your claw to get some hit points back. The game seems to be a pretty standard platformer. Let's take a look at the content. If you like my review, consider hitting that subscribe button to get notified of my new videos. Thank you. The content consists of a linear campaign. There's not much story to the game other than you are somehow not dead and that you have to follow the light on top of the mountain. There are a few different platforming classics, like a boss fight where the boss is huge and you avoid attacks from its hands, and a level where you have to run faster than a huge monster. Otherwise, the levels are very linear and not much more to say about it. The content is very limited. Let's get into the ratings. The gameplay in Sky Strider is very floaty, and it is not as tight as you would want from an action platformer. There are too many small bugs, and sadly it doesn't feel very good to play. One of the boss fights felt broken. There was no clear indicator of what to do, and somehow I won the fight after many tries, and I have little idea why. I have not much positive to say about the gameplay, so let's leave it at that. I rate the gameplay a 2 out of 5. I finished the game in just under 2 hours, and I was mostly stuck at the broken boss fight. I didn't really get a hang of the story, and I didn't want to play it again to get into it. There needs to be a lot more and better content if this game wants to succeed. I rate the content a 2 out of 5. Sky Strider is in the cheap category of games at 7 euros and 79 cents. But sadly, this game is not nearly up to par with other games out there. The game is too short and has way too many bugs. The sound effects are not very well done and the footsteps almost drove me crazy since they were loud and in a very small loop. It was not so bad that I had to quit before finishing it, but it was quite close. Not much more to say. I rate the money's worth a 2 out of 5. I hope you found out if Sky Strider could be your money's worth. You can look through my other videos to see if you can find games that will be your money's worth. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.